I've been friends with Marco Andretti and the Andretti family over 10 years, man. Marco has a famous father, Michael Andretti, and he has a famous grandfather, Mario Andretti. It must be hard to grow up in a family like that. Not necessarily hard, it's just a lot of pressure you know, that you're born into, that you expectations that you have to live up to. Marco seems to carry it well. Oh, I've heard many crazy stories from Marco about growing up in this household. Some of them I probably can't mention because being a friend and hearing Andretti stories, you have to keep those to yourself until the death. Mom normally seasons the steak, so I'm trying. The only ingredient that I'm not passing on is the MSG. <laughs> Sometimes we'll, like even at the races, I'll come to the races and we will be together. But yeah, it is hard to get everybody together. Dad, you have mesquite over there, right? What? You have mesquite wood, right? I have some chips downstairs. I think you should get them. Maybe we get along best when <laughs> we're not all so close together. We have ignition. Dad can grill, but I don't think he can... Quit. I don't think he knows how to use a toaster or anything like that. It's not easy. <laughs> it's tasting <actually> pretty good. <laughs> he, he knows what he's doing. Everybody manja! Time to eat. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come, come, come. It's buffet style. I'll get Uncle Aldo's. Oh my God. <laughs> it's when my mom was happiest when we were all together. So I hope to continue to be the glue. We all keep cooking. That brings everybody together. <laughs> it's all about the food and the wine and the, the laughter. Okay. Everybody ready? Yeah. Let's bow our heads. Father, we're coping with an empty seat at our table. Please be with the end who we miss. We trust in your timing, and we accept the new role you have given her in heaven. Deanne Hoke, wed in Nazareth rites. Deanne Beverly Hoke, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Earl Hoke, became the bride of Mario Andretti, son of Mr. and Mrs. Elvis Andretti, the bride of graduate of Nazareth. Her husband is a foreman at the Delwick Manufacturing Company. That's a big deal. Happy couple for sure. When Mario first started racing, we never really knew if he would make it. He had the talent, that was for sure, and he, he had the drive. We had to sacrifice an awful lot in the beginning for him to get started. It was a whole family project, actually. I never really knew if he'd make it, but of course you stand there behind your husband and uh, we couldn't have been happier when things did turn out right. of winning what is that like it's new every time it's brand new it's something that you never get used to you never really grow complacent about it to win a race just like making love it's just like the first time every time that ought to get a lot of people into racing <laughs> <laughs> Champion Mario Andretti, all but walked away with the big D feature. It isn't just that he's the living embodiment of the American dream. Victory Lane at Sebring. Mario Andretti visits the winner's circle. Time to speak English yet, Mario? It wasn't just that that happened during the golden age of cars. America's premier ace, Mario Andretti. Mario Andretti. Mario Andretti. Mario Andretti takes the flag. Or that it happened during the first era of big time television. So come, come into the Schaefer Circle. I think what it is is that this is a man who proved that he could go out on any given day in any kind of car, on any kind of racing circuit, and win. Well, these are a bit nostalgic. <laughs> Mario Andre to retire following 94 season. And ready nearing final white flag. Hmm. Arrivederci Mario. And ready makes final run Sunday. 
final. All right, gotta show you what well, my last ride was <laughs> back in 1994 at Laguna Seca. Of course, my last season, the last race, and um, they let me have this so I can do some donuts on the driveway when I feel like it. My entire life, I lived on adrenaline. I said, uh, is there life after racing a car for me? I had all these big questions in my mind, and. Um, and by now I found out that there is a life after that. <laughs> I, um, I don't think that uh, I could enjoy this type of um, serenity anywhere else. Of course, I love wine. Um, wine is, uh, is good for the soul, it's good for the body. Um, I always say, a meal without wine is like a day without sunshine. There you have it. it. says everything. As a kid, I remember my dad had these huge barrels just uh, in the basement of our home. There was a spigot. I used to hold a finger, you know, in the funnel, and just one, and I'd drink out of the funnel. And, and my brother and I we were just uh, about four or five. And one time we tried to do the same thing and we both got drunk and I fell asleep at the bottom of the steps in the cellar and my mother looked for us all over the place and here we were asleep, you know, just uh, with a hangover about four years of age. Good wine. I came across this land here um, in the late 90s, about 1996, 53 acres. All the permits for a winery were in place. Then the winery from the ground up was built, you know, what we're enjoying today. You know, the tasting room, everything else that's, uh, that's there is uh, relatively new, even though it looks like it's been here for 200 years, <laughs> which was the original idea. Make it look like it's been in Tuscany for 200 years. Even they built in the, the roof leaks. I <clears throat> don't profess to be what I'm not, and uh, now it may look important, like, you know, I know what I'm doing. All I'm trying to enjoy, the ones that are sweet, and the ones that, you know, and, and I can tell you one thing, in my own way, that uh, we're about a week away from, from uh, harvesting this, this vineyard, so uh, that's what I know. For the rest of it, uh, I'm just enjoying. Actually, I could say, I'm enjoying something that I never knew we had back, you know, when we left, uh, you know, Montona. I feel like I'm eating all the profits. 100 years. I've been laying here for 100 years. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen. The legends, the underdogs, the new blood. I've been run over, spilt on, and danced atop but they always make up for it with a kiss. 100 years. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, and I can't wait for what's next. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.